Whoa, 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 chill out, dude. I'm not trying to steal your sister. Look, it was just your dream. Well, I'm glad you hear it, but still, you do not exist in the universe. I know, I know. Look, I'm very sorry for being upset you. And I wonder where are we? We think this ghost city is kinda abandoned. Yeah, and I don't know what just gonna happen. Now that's a lot of zombies, well, there is no time to waste. Wait, I think we have a gun. It's game time boy. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Say goodbye to yourself. Mission accomplished. Damn dude, we've killed all of the zombies. Yeah, I know that. But the zombies didn't bite me. Ha ha, me too, and I didn't get a bitten by the zombie. What the hell is that? She's huge giant. I'm out of here. Huh? Wait. Wait a minute, whoever is behind this? Is that my sister Jessie or a giant monster? Oh no nuts! Wake up! What the hell is wrong with you Jess? You just give me a terrible nightmare. Hey, you're awake. Oh, and by the way, Monk, I am here to wake you up. Okay, so, what do you want from me? Oh, I'm just here to tell you. Guess what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is Mandy's birthday, which she's your girlfriend, right, Monk? Wait, is Mandy's birthday tomorrow? Yeah, that is correct, my bro. Are you really excited? Yeah, and I'm so excited about Mandy's birthday. Got her taking a shower, because I'm stink. Good luck with that monk. <laughs> Time to go to the Mandy's house since her birthday is tomorrow.
Mandy, your boyfriend Monk is here. Oh, coming mom. Oh, it's you. Hi Monk. Hi there Mandy, happy early birthday. I hope you will get birthday party tomorrow. Thank you. I hope I will get any gifts on my birthday. So, wanna come inside to my house? Oh wow, sure. Let me get inside. This is my beautiful house. Do you like it? I'm pretty sure I am. I love this place. And this is our living room. It has TV on it, and you can play the video games if you want it. Oh wow, I wish I can play my favorite video games on it. You know that Mandy? Yeah, it sure it is. And I can play my favorite consoles such as Xbox, PlayStation or Nintendo game consoles that I like. <coughs> um, Dad? Why are you have a face angry? Excuse me, what? Mandy, why the hell in the world are you doing with that boy and tell him to came here into our house? Wait, what do you mean by that? No dad, you don't understand. We have no idea what you're talking about. Honey, can you tell me what's going on? Well Ada, you will not going to believe this what Mandy did to that boy. She's dating with a boy named Monk Morrison, and he came here into our house. But, I'm 15, and Mandy is 15, which we are the same age. Yeah, and can you please don't angry at us? Look, Corey. Not trying to root or anything. Monk and Mandy's age are just the same as 15, but Monk can dating her whatever he wants to. Just don't ground Mandy since her birthday is tomorrow. Okay Ada, I won't ground her since tomorrow Mandy's birthday until she's turning 16 years old. But still, that's against the pedophilia. Mr. Morrison, get the heck out of my house, and stay away with my daughter. But, we are the same age as 15, but that doesn't mean it's pedophilia. But Mr. Corey, you don't understand. Why would you telling me to stop dating with Mandy? I can't believe Mr. Corey being mean to me. I guess I'm gonna go home. Hey, Mom, what's doing? What the freak? Damn it, Jess. You just tried to give me a heart attack by scare of me. Oh, don't be mad, Monk. So, why are you being upset? Well, Jess, you may know wondering. Mr. Corey was being mean to me, and he told me to stop dating with Mandy, but Mandy is 15, and I'm actually 15, which me and Mandy are same age as 15, and he's not gonna invite me on Mandy's birthday tomorrow. Just don't listen to him bro. I know he's being mean to you, but still, her mother will invite you on Mandy's birthday. Come on bro, cheer up. Well, alright then, I'm still invited on Mandy's birthday. That's my bro. Come on. I can't believe that boy tries to dating with my daughter. Corey. What? Look honey, Punk and Mandy are 15 because they were same age. But that doesn't mean it's pedophilia. Now you just make him upset. Stop making up excuses Ada. You should realize that that's against the pedophilia. He will not invite it on Mandy's birthday until it's tomorrow. Are you serious Corey? Why do you have to making up lies about Monk? You never do anything wrong to her. You know what? Fine. I would ignore Monk and move on from my stupid life. Is everything okay mom and dad? Yes sweetie. I just told your father to give him my advice. But still. You and Monk are still a couple, he will invite you on your birthday. Just go to your room. We won't ground you. Oh, alright then mom. Excuse me dad. And Corey, you can go buy a new birthday cake and gifts for Mandy before her birthday is tomorrow. Alright then, I'll go. Monk is starting to piss me off. Oh, someone's calling me, I'll answer it. Dear Corey. Can you please go by with blah 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 Wait what is that? Shoot. What the freak have you done to my car? You better admit the fact that you crashed into my car. Uh, sir, it was an accident. And I didn't even mean to crash into your car my Okay that's it. I can't wait Mandy's birthday is tomorrow. You know that Jesse? Yeah, I know 
that, and I'm going to be invited on Mandy's birthday and she looks tomorrow. I'm so excited. Same here my sis. I'm so excited too. Now wait just one second. Um, what's wrong my bro? Well Jesse, I can't be invited on Mandy's birthday since her father Corey told me to I'm not going to be invited on Mandy's birthday. So what are we gonna do? Uh, I'm not sure. Just don't listen to him. You're still invited at Mandy, or your girlfriend's birthday. Okay. Oh, okay then, Jess. Oh, and you may know wondering. I'm Carl. What the hell? You are not a Carl. You are actually Monk. I thought you were my brother. But no, you just betrayed me for what you just did. Well, okay then. Glad you hear that. That's my bro. That is not going to work, Jess, but Corey is really mad at me. Stop, brother. Just don't listen to him since you're not invited. But still, you and me are gonna invited on Mandy's birthday. Oh, okay, Jess. We're going to be invited on Mandy's birthday until it's tomorrow. That's too good here, Monk. I love you, my brother. Yeah, I love you too. Come on, let's go home before tomorrow Mandy's birthday until she's turning 16. Tomorrow is Mandy's birthday. I cannot believe it. I am so sick and tired of this. How could this happen? And how can I ruin Mandy's birthday? This is so stupid. Come on, on Bob. Come on. Think, think, think. Now wait just one second. This can't be happening. I can't believe tomorrow is Mandy's birthday. Which it could relieve me my freaking life. I swear of God. Since tomorrow is Mandy's birthday, I'm going to destroy and relieve Mandy's birthday. <laughs> what the? What was that noise? Oh wait, never mind. I just hit the fat man. And thank goodness I steal my parents' car. Let's hope those police will never chase. <laughs> Hello Bob. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you too, I guess. So, do you want to get invited on Mandy's birthday tomorrow? No, not because I'm not going to Mandy's birthday party tomorrow. Because, I just want to know birthday party will get ruined. Bob, you're lying. You can't make me stuff up. Better next time. What the? How did they know that I was lying? I was going to ruin Mandy's birthday party until it's tomorrow for real. You know what? I'm going home until Mandy's birthday party is tomorrow. Time to selling illegal copies of Wii Music. Oh sh- Even though I've never made legal copies of video games, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, same here. Monk, Jesse, it's time to go to bed. It's 12 a.m. Ooh, looks like we are going to bed. Wait, is Mandy's birthday tomorrow, Monk? Of course it is. Now come on, we're going to bed until Mandy's birthday is tomorrow. Hurry, I can't wait. Good night, living room. Today is my 16th birthday. I cannot wait to open my presents. Okay, everything looks perfect. We hope Mandy would like it and her birthday presents will be shown up. Hi mom and dad, today is my birthday. Hi Mandy, happy birthday to you. And now you turn 16 years old. Congratulations sweetie. Thank you. I'm very appreciate and I can't wait to open up my presents. Oh, your friends was at the door. You can invite your friends to your birthday party. All right, Mom. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you, Mandy. Mandy. Thank you, Zach and Noah. You can come inside to my birthday party. Thank you, Mandy. Wait, Mandy, you forgot us. Mom, Jesse, they are here. We're here. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you, Mandy. Mandy. Oh, thank you, guys. You two can come inside. Anytime, my friend. Come on, Monk. Hold up, Mr. Monk. 
You are not invited on my daughter Mandy's birthday party since you starting to dating her. Wait what? I didn't do anything wrong Mr. Corey, please don't blame me since me and Mandy are just a couple, I'm 15 and Mandy is 16. Corey, please be respectful. No Ada, he's pedophile just because he dating my daughter Mandy. How is he pedophile Mr. Corey? You should realize that Monk is 15, and my friend Mandy is 16. Yep, and please be respectful and don't making up lies about or blaming him. What's going on here dad? Your father framing your boyfriend, not Mandy. Not to mention that he claims that Monk is a pedophile. When he's not, he's a minor. Just stop making up excuse. Zach and Noah, you're just giving me on my nerves. And this for you, Monk. You are not invited on my daughter Mandy's birthday party since you dated her and becoming a pedophile. But Tori, I'm not- Pap pap pap. Making up excuse, huh? Now get the hell out. You are not welcome here. Monk, wait. Where are you going, Monk? <sighs> Poor Monk. Give me that wheel. Kayla okay, said it's too dangerous. You're freaking now. You're too young. Give Mommy, uh -oh. done. They've been a crash. What the heck? They ruining Mandy's birthday party. Well, just great, Kalu. You just make my car crashed. It's your own fault. Well, it's your fault too, Dad. You never get me that wheel because I want to drive. Listen to me, you little bald brat. I'm gonna choke on your freaking neck. You better stay inside before I'll spank you. Ah, uh, Mr. Corey and Miss Ada. This is not what it looks like, but my son Kalu keep forcing me to give him the wheel to drive, which is too dangerous to driving. We don't blame you, Boris. We understand that your son forced you to give you a wheel to drive. I am gonna get my serious revenge on that bald piece of crap for what he just did. My. My birthday party is ruined. Mandy, this is not what it looks like. He was an accident. How could you do this to me? I thought I were going to celebrate my birthday party, but no, now my birthday party is ruined. Don't be upset Mandy, look, it will be fixed. Just don't be so sad since your birthday party is ruined. <laughs> Mandy, where are you going? Mandy, you don't understand. Your birthday party will be fixed soon. Guys, Mandy is upset. Did you tell her? No, he got run away since her birthday party is ruined. Oh, I feel bad for her for her birthday party is ruined, and thanks to Kalu. Now Mandy's birthday party is ruined because of piece of bald crap. Alright, you guys go clean this mess to fix Mandy's birthday party until she feels better. Oh, before I'll go, I will be cheering up my brother Monk since he's upset. Later guys. Boris, Ada, Noah, and Zach, you guys clean this mess. We have to fix Mandy's birthday party until she gets better. Okay Mr. Corey. Zach. Let's clean this mess. Okay. I'm better get going Mr. Corey. I don't have much time to clean this mess, so I'm just gonna spank Kalu with my rope. Okay, see you in there Boris. I'm Andy. Oh wow, here we go again, another fat man is here. No no no, don't be scared, I didn't mean to kidnap you. I was trying to say something to you. Really? Are you sure you're not faking it? Um, nah, I'm not faking it, I'm just telling it's rule. Oh, okay, so what are you want from me? Hey Mundy, I just want to say that, happy birthday to you. I just bought this pizza for you on your birthday, so what do you say? Oh wow, thanks Bob. I'm really appreciated it. Uh oh, I think I'm going to 
Well, I just put the poison on the pizza since Mandy has passed out. I'm better kidnap this as long as I can. <laughs> I'm back. Long time no see. What's wrong, buddy? You don't feel so good today. <laughs> uh, why are you both upset, Monk? Mr. Corey just framing me when I was coupled with Mandy. And I'm not gonna invite it on her birthday party. <laughs> Monk, what did I suppose to told you? You told me that you and me are invited on Mandy's birthday party. But now Mr. Corey won't invite me in. Now this is the worst life ever. <laughs> Brother, I understand that Mr. Corey won't invite you on Mandy's birthday party. Just don't listen to him since he's being rude of you. Look me in, you, Zach, and Noah are invited on Mandy's birthday party, but you just left her birthday party because Mr. Kari was framing you. Cheer up, I'm still with you. Okay, I understand that, my sis. That's my dear brother. Now come on, we're going back to the Mandy's birthday party. Hey, alright Jess, now let's go back to the Mandy's birthday party. Haha. <laughs> Guys, I have a problem. What wrong? No, is it something wrong? You both are not gonna believe this. What did I have to say this? Can you please tell us? Mandy is gone. What? what? Yes, I'm not joking. I saw Corey and Dada was upset about her daughter. We're gonna go see if... Ms. Ada, we are so sorry about your daughter was gone missing. I'm very Miss Mandy too. She's one of my best friend. Yeah. Just wait until Mandy is come back on her birthday party. Guys, what the hell happened? Oh, Monk. I didn't expect to see you then. I just saw that your girlfriend Mandy was gone missing. She got run away because her birthday party is ruined. We already fixed and cleaned this mess. What? Mandy is gone? How did you telling us when she's gone? Well, you will see. When Boris and Kaya who was in the car accident, and Mandy got run away since her birthday party is ruined. Ah, oh, man, how are we gonna celebrate Mandy's birthday right now? I don't know Jess, maybe Mandy is gone. I can't believe she's gone. But how are we gonna save her? No idea. Hey Monk and Jesse, how is Mandy's birthday party doing today? Mom, Dad, we have some very bad news, Mandy is gone. What? Are you freaking kidding me? But how do you know she's gone? Okay Mom and Dad, let me explain to you. When I saw Monk was upset since Mandy's father framing him, Boris and K.I. who was in the car accident, and make my friend Mandy upset about her birthday party is ruined. When I was tried to talk to her, and she got run away. Then, why would you do that? It's not our fault, it's actually Caillou's fault when he makes his father car accident by ruining Mandy's birthday party. Oh, that's really bad. Alright, get in the car. We're going home until Mandy's return. Wait a minute, what's this note? Dear Monk Morrison, I just kidnap your girlfriend Mandy, and I just put poison into pizza and get Mandy passed out. Wait a minute, signed Bob. I can't believe it. Bob is the one who ever kidnapped Mandy. I thought she's gone. What's the matter, Monk? I just got the evidence that Bob is the one who kidnapped Mandy. Can I see it? I can't believe it. Bob was kidnapped Mandy. 
I thought she was gone. What's going on? Well, I just saw the evidence that Bob is the one who kidnapped Mandy. Oh my god. How could this happen? There is no time explanation. Jesse, let's go save Mandy from Bob. Right. Here it is, Jesse. Introducing a motorcycle. Is this really safe to save Mandy Monk? Of course we are. And we have a motorcycle to save Mandy from that stupid fat guy named Bob. So, what are you needing for Monk? Step on it. Right. Here we go. Good luck, Monk and Jess. What? Where the heck am I? I... look. Guess who's awake? Who said that? You, little. Why am I tied? Oh, you'll see. I just put the poison on pizza before you eat it. I just kidnapped you since you passed out. You're a freaking idiot. How could you do this? Oh. Just remember, your birthday party is now ruined. All ruined. You, dirty brat, I'm gonna kill you for what you just did. Excuse me. What did you say? Do you even think that ruining my birthday party is a good idea? Well, no. No thanks to you, you just made my family upset, you dirty piece of crap. Who cares about your family? Oh, you're so ungrateful. Now deal with it. You deal with it yourself. Whatever. Oh, and I have to go now. So have fun for getting kidnapped. Hey, get back here you little piece of crap. Damn it, how can I supposed to escape this? I need to call someone's help. Help! Somebody help me. I've been kidnapped by Bob. Someone's help me. Well, it's been a long, we've got to save Mandy from Bob before it was too late. You know you like motorcycle when I was driving? Yeah, I really love the how you have a motorcycle when you're driving. Yeah, so what do you think on my motorcycle since my parents buy it? I really love that. I'm glad you liked it. Hang on tight. Huh? Where did manager go? Did he just forgot to close the restroom? Actually, this might be abandoned restroom, but the door is still open. Would you want to go into the restroom? Um, no thanks. I'm okay. You should stay here. I'll go into the restroom real quick. Chase me if you want. Where is the goddamn monk and Jesse? I'm not going to ask you. Where are they? Kalu, where the heck are you? What in the? Excuse me. Who are you? Well, if you must know, my name is Saul Strongness. I'm asking you question. Where is monk and Jesse? My, do you think that are you going to after them? Well, absolutely not. You better not find anything. Ha, huh, now I'm feel better. Um. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Oh, okay. All right, let's roll. Someone's calling me. Who 
Is that man? That's Mandy. I'll go answer the call. Monk? Monk, is that you? Mandy, what happened and where are you? I've got kidnapped by Bob and I was passed out when I was eating a poison pizza and I can't get out of it. Don't worry, Mandy. We're almost there to save you, but we'd better hurry. Excuse me, young girl. No phones allowed. You're not supposed to help someone. Give me that. Mandy? Mandy? What happened? It got hanged up. I don't know what's going on to her. What would our we gonna do? We don't have much time for this. Yet. Oh no, my phone. What have you done to my phone? Because you're not allowed to help someone to watch your escape. You need to stay in here, and that is freaking final. You idiot Bob. I'm gonna get my revenge on you for broke my phone. Why is everything posters in here? Is Mandy gonna come back yet, Zack? I don't know yet. Maybe she will be returned soon before her birthday camp is getting cold. Wait, who is that guy? Um, who are you? Name is Salt Strongness. I am here to ask your question. Where is Monk and Jesse? Oh crap. He's got a gun. Can't you just put your gun down? Shut up and stop forcing me to put my gun down. Just learn how to handle it. Now where is Monk and Jesse? You better start answer my question before I'm gonna kill you. Answer it. Where is they? Oh, I almost forgot. Why don't you go find it yourself instead of complaining summons? My arm, Noah, do something. Now, you're next. I'm gonna get the heck out of here before he kills me. What a loser. It's really cold out here. How long we're gonna wait? I don't know, Jess. It's too far to save her from Bob. Now quiet because I might think about it. Oh, great. Now we're so hungry. So, what are we gonna eat? What are we gonna eat? There is no way to find so many foods. I mean, look, we lost my mom, we lost my dad, and we lost my girlfriend Mandy when she got kidnapped by Bob. Then we're just... giving up. Wait, what? There is no way to giving up, so how are we gonna save Mandy before it's too late? I don't know, Jesse. Let's just... Wait, Monk. Look. Huh? Wait a minute. I think we found it. Let's get something to eat. With pleasure. Hello, and welcome to the Go Foods. May I take your order, sir? I would like some, um... Oh, oh. Can't we have some chicken? There you go. Whoa, that was quick. Of course I'm so freaking quick. And enjoy your meal. Ew, this looks really delicious. Huh, that was weird. Hey, Monk, you should taste this. Um, uh, no thanks, Jess. I feel fine. Aw, oh, don't be shy. It tastes so good. You should try it. Come on, just one more bye. But Jess, I'm- Do it! Now how is that? It tastes so good. See? I told you it was delicious. Hey mister, can you make the another for him? Here you go. I can't wait I'm going to eat this. Hey Jess, let's just eat it. Let's go. Oh, mister, make another one, please. Hey, mister, make more, please. We want one, 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 we want one more. Uh, why those idiots wants to eat some stupid chickens? Oh, 
Uh, my head. Ahem. Mr. Morrison, I've just got a phone call from your parents. Now it's 9 a.m. in the morning. Oh, sorry, I accidentally fall asleep. What did my parents said? Oh, your parents said that. Are you going to save that girl from enemy named Bob? So who is that girl when she got kidnapped? Oh, her name is Mandy. She's my girlfriend. I've got to save her before it was too late. Okay, now you better wake your sister up and get the heck out of this store before I'll clean this up. I swear of God. Jesse? Hey Jess, wake up buddy. What happened in here? We accidentally fall asleep, but he got a phone call from our parents. Wait, what did they say? None of my business then. Come on, let's move. We don't have much time for this. Hey Monk, wait for me. <laughs> Dang it. What? What's the matter, Monk? We're out of gas. Well, this is great. How are we gonna save Mandy without a motorcycle when it's out of gas? I can fix it for you. Ms. Ms. Eva. Hi, Monk and Jesse. How are you two doing? Oh, we're doing fine. That's good. Also, did you save my daughter Mandy yet? Not yet, but my motorcycle is out of gas. Don't worry, let me fix it for you. So, Ms. Eva, are you feel better now? Of course, I am feel better, Jesse. My husband Cory is already cheer me up. So, is Mandy's birthday cake car getting cold? No, not at all. Just let you know before my daughter Mandy will be returned on her birthday party. Oh, Monk, I have to say something to you. Um, what is it, Miss Ada? I just tell Cory to stop framing you since you just a couple with my daughter. You're 15, and Mandy is 16, and he wants to apologizing to you. Oh, there it go. Your motorcycle has been filled up. Oh cool. I'm gonna try it. Your motorcycle is turned it back on. Wait a minute, it is. Thank you so much for fill up to my motorcycle. You're very welcome, Monk. Oh, but be careful when you're driving your motorcycle. Okay, Ms. Ada, I'll try it my best. Okay, Jess, hop on. Okie jokey then, bro. Let's go beat Bob, and save Mandy before she will return on her birthday party. Right. Oh, and good luck for saving my daughter. Hello sir. Welcome to the Go Foods. May I take your order? I would like some a double hamburger please. Oh, and one more question. Where is Monk and Jesse? Have you heard of them? I already know them sir. I just got a phone call from their parents. They accidentally fall asleep, and they went to save Mandy until she returns on her birthday. Oh, I knew it. Thanks for telling me sir. Just you wait Monk and Jesse. I've come to kill you. And you will not, able to save Mandy. So not, are we there yet? Not yet, but we almost there, until I'll beat these fat guy, and save Mandy from Bob. Yeah, but we better be quick before she's got again. I am the Terminator Robot. Oh, hi Mr. Robot, how are you doing? Well Jess, I think that must be a Terminator Robot. Wait a minute. What are you doing? I'm trying to talk to Mr. Robot. Jess, it's too dangerous. That's the Terminator robot. You might get killed by the robot. But what are you talking about? I am the Terminator robot. I am here to destroy both of you. Oh great. Now look what have you done, Jess. Me? What did I do anything wrong? Hang on. Terminator robot. Destroy my gift, Jesse. What is happening right now? I don't know. Hey, Monk, look, the bridge. Oh, wait, I think the bridge is going up. 
Captain. Right. Hang on tight. Terminator robot, we lost Mark and Jesse. I can't believe they're getting away. Just jump up the bridge already. I'm sorry, sir, but we lost Mark and Jesse. No, they're not got away. Just jump already before you losing them. I am sorry, sir, but there is no way to jump up the bridge. We already lost them. Turning at a robot. Deactivate. God, freaking damn it. Now my Terminator robot has broken down. Now how am I gonna go after them without Terminator Robot? Wakey wakey, time to wake up! Well good morning Mandy, I'm so glad you don't have to escape. But T, I will take you to the airport, and send you to the Ice Age, and you will get freeze of death. Oh no, not the Ice Age. Now, let's take you to the airplane and send it to you. I can't believe that Terminator robot tries to destroy us. Yeah, and I'm sorry for talking to that robot. Then why would you do that? It was an accident, you know. And, hey, what, who's that? What the? Who is that? I don't know. I'll go talk to him. Well, I've been looking for you. Um, who are you? The name is Saul Strongness. I am here, to see you, Monk and Jesse. Is it something wrong, Monk? But, how did you know us? Well, you see. When I was going to the Go Foods, I asked him that where are you, and he answered my question when you accidentally fall asleep, and went to save Mandy from Bob. So this is why I already found you too. Are you actually found us? Yeah, and you two are trying to save Mandy from Bob. And my friend Bob told me that I'm gonna destroy you two. Are you gonna destroy us? Of course I will destroy you two. After Bob already kidnapped Mandy, he's going to take Mandy to the airplane and send her to the Ice Age. all we know you're lying. Yeah, you can't making up excuses. Um, I've got something to both of you. Now, give it up. The time is over. He, he's got a gun. What are we gonna do? Hey, what is that? What? Come on, let's get out of here. Wait, hey, I didn't finish my speech yet, get back here. He got away again, let's just hope I will destroy that crap. Who the hell is that? Soul Strongness, he tries to destroy us, but still, we're almost there. Hey look Monk, I think that's Bob's other house after Mandy got kidnapped. Yeah, let's go get him. What happened in here? Well, I think that must be a Bob's place. There's a bloods everywhere. So where's Mandy? Hey Monk, look at the note. Huh? Can I see it? Hello, Monk and Jesse. After I kidnapped Mandy on her 16th birthday, I will take her to the airplane and send her to the Ice Age. So have fun for not able to save her. Something is not right. But what now? No time to explain. We've got to go into the airplane and save Mandy. 
before it's going to take off. We better be hurrying. Good afternoon. This is your captain speaking, to let you know that we are going to send the girl to the Ice Age. Oh no. Help. Where did Mandy go, Mom? She's on the airplane. We don't have much time for this before it's getting takeoff. We have to defeat Bob as soon as we can. Right. Let's go get him. Oh, look, Mom. We found the airfield. We're getting closer. I know. We have to get in here before the airplane gets takeoff. You dirty bastard. I'm gonna get my revenge on you. Come on, Mom. Go ahead. Beat me if you want. So do you like it when I'm going to send you to the ice age? No, I don't. It's really cold out here. So let me out of here right freaking now. Who cares if I'm going to let you out of here? I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to send you to the ice age. Get back here, you dirty brat. I'm gonna beat you. Now, let's take it off before Monk and Jesse is coming. Um, is this going to work, Monk? Of course it is, my sis. Just don't worry about it. Hey, sir, can you let us in? Oh, okay. I'll let you in. Here. Thanks. Now let's save her. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, Commander. They just zipped right by me. I didn't do anything wrong. I accidentally let them in. It was by the name of Monk and Jesse. Whoever saves the girl from you. What? Do you freaking kill me right now? No, it was an accident. Please move faster. Immediately. I'm going to be faster as long as I can. They were not going to save Mandy on her birthday. Hey look, the door is open. We have to get inside. I know. Hold on tight, we're almost there. You ready, Jess? One, One two, two, three. Since we're in the airplane, where is Mandy after she got kidnapped? Well, let's just find her when she got kidnapped. Commander, I have a status report. They are on the airplane now. What? Monk and Jesse was on my airplane? Yes, I saw they abandoned their own motorcycle before their jetting on your airplane. Oh, man, D. Where are you? I can't see her. Where is she? Monk, Jesse, I'm right here. Hey, wait a second. Mandy, is that you? Mandy, you here? I'm glad to see you then. Monk, Jess, I'm so happy you guys are here. Will you please untie me before Bob sees us? Thank goodness you were here. I'm gonna untie you so we could get out of this place. So Mandy, is your birthday was ended yet? No, my birthday party is still up. I was kidnapped by Bob since few days ago. Oh, is my brother Monk are going to invite it on your birthday party? Your father already apologized to him. Yeah, I'm so glad my dad apologized to my boyfriend Monk, but he's still invited on my birthday party. Alright Mandy, you're free. Now, where do we have to get out of here? Wait a minute, there's the exit right there. I think this is it. It has four parachutes in it. Let's get out of here before Bob sees us. So you three thinks that you are trying to get out of this place? Well, I don't think so. Monk. Are you going to try to save Mandy from me? Well, I don't think so. Your time is up, Monk. I will take care of Mandy. Any last words? Get away from him. You're more. You dirty piece of crap. You can't get to my own brother. No, you have to go and just look at what Monk did. You need to get the freaking like, like, right. I'm very 
very sorry, but please give me a second chance. Sorry, Bob, you already blew it. Now it's time to send you to the business themes. All set. Are you ready, Jesse? We're ready, Mom. Let's send him to the business themes. Wait, One, what are you doing? Two, please, no. Three. No. Where am I? Mom, the non business themes character was in our house. A non business theme character? Okay, come Wait, here, boy. I can't explain. <laughs> We beat those bad guys, and we saved Mandy. After we are saved Mandy, who wants to celebrate Mandy's birthday party? We'll do celebrate my birthday party, Monk. Yeah, now we're going back to Mandy's birthday party. There is no timer left. We have to get out of here before it crash. Okay, this is it. We must jump as soon as we can. Phew, that was a close call. We are glad we saved Mandy and beat that crap named Bob. He deserved it for kidnapped her on her birthday. Oh, but one more question. Where is Mandy? I'm right here. Phew. Thank God you're here, Mandy. When we'll get your home and we'll celebrate your birthday party. This is getting ridiculous. I can't believe Mandy is gone permanently. All freaking gone. Can we just cancel her birthday party since she's gone? No, don't cancel it, Noah. She will be come back soon before Monk and Jesse save her. Just wait before she's coming. Okay, if you think Mandy's coming, I'm going to check the window. Holy shoot, they are back, and they saved Mandy. I am going to tell Mandy's parents. We are back, folks. We really did it, Mom. Now we are going back to Mandy's birthday party. Now come on. Let's celebrate my birthday party before my parents calls me. Right, let's go. Oh no, so strongness. Congratulations, Monk Morrison. You've just left me by not finish my own speech. But from now I've come here to destroy you all. But, but, but how did you find us? I saw you too that you've saved that girl from Bob and get the airplane crashed. Now you're sending my friend Bob to the business themes to start people framing him. Goodbye Monk. Oh no. What the hell have you freaking done? Hi Mandy, glad to see you're back. Mom? Oh, my sweetie. I am so happy to see you're back. I am very miss you. I miss you too, Mom. Bob, look at that. I love it how Mandy miss her mother. Yeah, we're so glad to save her from the digit fat guy named Bob. He deserved it for being a stupid criminal kidnapper. Oh, Monk and Jesse, let's get inside. We're going to wish happy birthday to Mandy. We're coming, We're coming with Ada. Come on, my bro. Let's go to celebrate Mandy's birthday party. Okay. Thank you to everyone who wishing you a happy birthday. I really appreciate you guys. You're very welcome. And I am so glad to see you that I saved you from Bob, he deserved for being a criminal kidnapper. And we already cleaned the mess and fixed your birthday party after Boris was in a car accident. I know mom. Thank you for fixing my birthday party. No problem daughter, 
Just to let you know don't go out anything else before you're getting kidnapped again. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I've got a something surprise for you. Here is your birthday gift that I have it. I hope you liked it. Here you go. Thank you. Let me open it up so let's see what's inside. The Nintendo Wii U? No way. I really loved it. Thank you so much for giving me a birthday gift, Jesse. No problem, my friend. Also, you can play some of your favorite games like Mario Kart, Super Smash Brothers, Splatoon, and Yoshi's Winning World that you like. Hold on. I'm gonna go speak to Monk Morrison. Morrison, I've something to say to you. Um, what is it? Okay, Morrison. I am very sorry for framing you that you're dating with my daughter Mandy, and I know that you and Mandy are just a couple. You're 15, and Mandy is now 16, and I'm so sorry for hurting your feelings. Please forgive me for what I just did to you. It's already Mr. Corey, I'll forgive you. See, now that's how Mr. Corey has finally apologized to you for hurting your feelings. Yeah, but still son. You and Mandy are just a couple when you're 15, and Mandy is 16. And you are going to be a grown-up until you and Mandy will get married very soon. Okay mom and dad. I'm going to be a grown-up until me and Mandy are get married. I will try it my best. That's my boy. We are so proud of you two for saved Mandy from Bob. Yes Jess? Brother, if you're going to be a grown-up, you and Mandy are going to be married very soon. And I am so happy that you adopted me since my old parents abuses me. I love you, my brother Monk. Yeah. I love you too Jess. I'm very glad that I adopted you. But hey, wanna have some dance party on Mandy's birthday? Oh yeah, sure. Let's get this party started. Okay. Ready? One, One two, two, three, three go. go.
just breathe.